Okay, so uh, now we're getting to chapter four, closed systems, chapter five, open systems. Uh, so just to review, this this was a page we filled in earlier in our notes, and so I, I, I put it here again uh, because it's important. What Maybe the most important page in our notes, it really summarizes the whole class, uh, is the first law of thermodynamics, conservation of energy, that the energy, if we keep track of the energy in and energy out, that will equal the energy final minus initially, the change in energy. On the left-hand side of these, we have heat and work uh, and energy in the mass that's flowing in and out. And then on the right-hand side, we have maybe change in kinetic energy, change in potential energy, change in internal energy, and flow work. Uh, so, you know, if we really kind of want a, a, a nice big equation, all the Q, right, all the heat in and out, all the work in and out, all the energy in the flow in the fluid going in and out, everything on the left-hand side is kind of crossing boundaries, equals the delta K, E delta P, E delta U, and flow work, all of the stuff that's changing over time. And again, this could be total energy, specific energy, or like power. Uh, so I, this isn't in our notes, um, so I want to show you how I do this a little bit differently than our book and differently than some other thermodynamics classes because... Of, I don't know, some of the other classes that, that I, I teach, I'm going to say that, um, or, or this, this is what the book says. The, the book is going to say Q minus W equals delta E because the book kind of always assumes that positive Q, Q is heat, positive Q is assumed to be heat going in to the system. All right, so in generally, thermodynamicists, I don't know, uh, say that positive heat is heat that we're pumping into our system. Positive heat is Q that's going into our system. Q that's going, crossing the boundary, going from the surroundings to our system is positive Q. Um, and so this is what thermo, most thermo books and teachers, they actually assume that positive work is work done by the system. And so work done by the system is work out. So the book says that work out is positive. You know, if my system does work, we get work out of it, and that's what we're interested in, that's what we want to get, that's what we are desiring, and let, let's make that positive. So they'll say that Work out is positive. Okay, now I don't want to confuse you, but I think this makes more sense to me, is let's just say in is positive and out is negative. And so then I'm going to say Q plus W instead of Q minus W. And, and so let, let's, let's think about any open system. Q plus W plus E equals change in energy. So, so any heat going in is positive. Heat going out is negative. Work going in is positive. Work going out is negative. So energy flowing in, in, in mass flowing in, is positive. Out is negative. So I'm going to do in is positive, out is negative. Uh, work, so let's just clarify, work done by a system is work out, but work put into or work done on a system is work in. Work in. All right, so this is where I might deviate from the book just a little bit, but I think it makes sense to me. Everything in is positive. Everything going out is negative. Got it? Everything going in is positive. Everything going out is negative. Okay? All right, so we're going to keep track of, hey, is there any heat going in or out? If heat is going in, I'll put that as positive Q on the left-hand side of my equation. If we're losing heat, I'm going to put that as negative Q on the left-hand side of my equation. How about work? If we're putting work into a system, if we are the ones doing work to the system, then that's work in. But if the system is giving us work, if the system is doing work, that's work out. 
energy, if, if energy is flowing, if the mass, I'm talking, this is the mass in the energy, like in the inlet. You know, if it's an inlet, it's in, if it's outlet, it's out. Uh, and, and this is the change in time, E final minus E initial. Okay? All right, so now we're, that was just a preface to, we're about to get into chapter four, closed systems.